In this short video, I would like to demonstrate basic accessibility features of the Flutter Gallery for Web. I'm using VoiceOver Screen Reader running on macOS as well as Safari browser to demonstrate these features. VoiceOver unmuted. On this page, we have links to a few Flutter app as well as material design widgets. I would like to start with a banner widget to show how it works with VoiceOver. I'm going to use the tab key to navigate to the widget and then enter key to go inside it. Bottom app bar displays navigation and actions. Banner displaying a banner within a list group. Crane web content. Back button. Back. Notice how the focus is conveniently placed on the back button so that I can return quickly to the previous screen in case I made a mistake. Here I will continue tabbing to the banner text. Info button, demo code button, demo API documentation button, full screen button, full show menu button, show sign in button, your password was updated on your other device. Please sign in again. Group. Now that I heard the banner text read by voiceover, I will continue tabbing to the dismiss button. Dismiss button. And press enter key to dismiss the banner. Show menu button, show menu. Full API demo code, info button, back button, back. Banner displaying the banner with. Next, I would like to show you some of the features within the Crane app. So I'm going to shift tab. App bar displays information and app starter app. Hey, response 498 content. Crane a personalized travel app group. Crane web content. And go inside Back to the gallery. app. Here we have a few tabs as well as text fields. So let's see how they work with voiceover. FLY tab 1 of 3 group. Sleep tab 2 of 3 group. EAT tab 3 of 3 group. Notice how VoiceOver reads the label of the tab as well as its index within the tab list. So, for example, you will hear Fly tab 1 of 3, Sleep tab 2 of 3, and Eat tab 3 of 3. I'm going to activate the second tab. Sleep tab 2 of 3, group. Press Enter key. And type a few things into text fields here. EAT tab 3 of 3, group. Travelers edit text. Notice that here voiceover reads the label of the edit field. I'm also told the fact that this is an edit field into which I can type, which is what I'm going to be doing next. I'll type number two. Two. And let's verify that voiceover e still speaks the label. Two. Insertion at end of text. Travelers edit text. Great. Let's type into one more text field. Select dates edit text. Select location, edit text. Ka. California. And verify. Explore properties by desktop California. Insertion at end of text. Select location, edit text. Great. Just like as in previous example, voiceover read the label of the text field, the fact that it is text field, and the value that I typed into it. Back. Crane a personalized travel app. Group. And this was a short demo of some of the Flutter accessibility features. Thanks for watching.